Okay, well, I was just making that other video, and my camera said it was full, so I'm going to start again. But here, here's the, here is the original uh, Irvin flight jacket from World War II, British. So Spitfire, Lancaster, Wellington, bombers, navigators, crews uh, would wear these. And they were really sought after coats. Even Adolf Galland of the German Luftwaffe uh, uh, wore a uh, British RAF Irvin flight jacket. They're just neat coats. So there's the original. Look at my other video and uh, you'll see... Uh, more details on that. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you. And, then, and there's Montgomery. He's one of the famous folks that uh, uh, that wore a British Irvin flight jacket, and he was not a pilot. And uh, here is here is a, uh, a British. Uh, it's made by the Eastman Company. Eastman leather. I don't know if you can see that. RAF sheepskin flying coat AM. So you can kind of see that. That's what's on those uh, zippers. This is one of the nicest uh, coats. I'm, I'm really not a fur guy. Um, I don't like wearing dead animals. Um, this is a really, really nice knockoff. Uh, it's it is damn near identical to uh, to the original. But the one thing they've missed in making their Eastman knockoff is they didn't have the AM zippers, which they have an Eastman zipper. It says Eastman. Um, but if they would have had that, that would have been just about dead on. And you can see the the belt is slightly different. So just slightly different. The buckle's the same, but the belt threading is different. This is a beautiful coat. Some poor sheep lost his life for that one, or at least a couple of them. Um, now, again, this it would be an example of a late urban coat. And the reason is um, the line here on the, on the, you can see that line on the, on the elbow. Don't have that on the, uh, the modern urban knockoff. And the late war coats, we're a four panel. You can see one, two, three, four, four panels. And there is our uh, elastic band to, to hold the top up so it looks neat. And uh, see, they're pretty damn close. Some of the stitching is a little bit different, but it's, it is pretty damn close. And see, there's your early one where you've got basic, just the two panels. Because at the beginning of the war, they just had more resources, more sheep to kill, and uh, and there's your four panels. Really nice coat. I mean, if you, if you're going to buy one of these coats, this is one of the companies you want to buy one from. The uh, Eastman Company. They make them in the UK, and they make really top shelf stuff. Really nice stuff. Um, a lot of companies make these coats. There's an uh, there's actually an urban parachute company that makes them too and they make a really much more luxurious one but uh, they're really nice coats and then this one this again is an an A2 made by Eastman uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on A2's today because this, this is the one A2 I got right now this is a monster um, these are these are actually horse sides so some poor horse uh, got smoked for this one, maybe got hit by a car, who knows. Anyway, much thicker gauge, leather, uh, just a super high quality coat, talon zipper, I don't know if you can see that. Um, really nice coats, really, really nice. And then uh, the Eastman coats had these things which you'd close up your collars with see you can see that you just close your collar that's some sort of added thing I think that also had something to do with holding your microphone or something and whatever you do if you have leather coats especially these uh, collector coats don't ever dry clean them don't ever dry clean them you're just asking for it and uh, one piece back all the all the original A2's 
even the really high end uh, copies like made by Eastman or One Piece backs really really high quality coats so those are a couple of my my flight jackets and I'll show you some of my books I got like tons of books but Montgomery with his Irvin uh, Battle of Britain so you know these guys are all wearing those Irvin coats this is a really neat book part of a flight jacket if you, if you have an interest in flight jackets I'd highly recommend this one. It's uh, tons of great stuff on uh, on uh, World War II flight jackets. Hell bent for leather. That's another great one. You probably get these on Amazon or eBay. eBay especially for cheap because everybody's cashing in everything cheap on eBay. The Mighty Eighth in color. I think it has some flight jackets in there. It's a neat one. Their finest hour. That is a really cool book. If you get a chance to buy that one too on. Uh, eBay or Amazon. Be sure to grab that. One last look. Here's another one. I, I really like B-17s and and uh, so it's got lots of B-17 stuff in there. But uh, anyway, I'm just going to do a little video on some flight jackets I got. If you got an Irvin or something, send me a picture. Or uh, if you have American flight jackets or Irvin coats you want to sell or whatever you got questions about send me a question uh, in your comments or you can just email me on the uh, on that YouTube I, th I think there's a, a thing on there you can email people but anyway there they are there's a, that one and for the sizing on these coats I don't like I'm a, I'm a 50 but I can fit a Eastman size 48 I could fit a Eastman size 44 fur coat um, so the sizes are a little odd but uh, generally a 50 if you're a 50 like I'm a 50 you know buy a 50 because uh, it'll be a little bit big but it'll it, you'll want that but, uh, and then once again one thing I was mentioning in the other video is that the uh, American uh, makers of sheepskin flight jackets like B3s and what have you uh, they treated the leather with some sort of material when they were making them that actually caused the, the coats to fall apart, dry out, and deteriorate rapidly. So if you ever see uh, B3s, you know, they're always all just blown apart from uh, that chemical uh, that was used in their construction. Um, but if you do buy a B3, the ones to buy are the ones that are really worn like this because they've worn most of that horrible uh, chemical off of it. And then you know what, gang? Don't wear these coats. Just put them on a mannequin or, you know, but don't wear them. They're just too damn old. They're seven years old and they're ready to just fall apart. And uh, I'll find something else that you might find interesting. Maybe I'll do some motorcycle videos next. Alright gang, let me know what you think. Catch you later.